do together, we're asking the question, could it have something to do with the way women are portrayed in popular music? Many people are saying yes. Here this evening to present the other side of the coin is one of the most controversial figures in music today. He goes by the lord of heavy metal, Mr. Vinny Venom. <laughs> Mr. Venom, thank you for being here. Pleasure to be here, Deborah. This is my drummer, Lonnie. Yo, Debs. Lonnie, thank you very much for being here. So let's get right to it. You, sir, have been in the hot seat in the media lately. There's a lot of women's rights groups and parents groups who say that your song lyrics are sexually degrading and misogynistic. How do you respond? Not true. And I think it's really unfortunate the fact that Lonnie and I are being treated so unfairly. Yeah, first and foremost, we're artists and we, want, we want to create. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I happen to have a catalog of your songs right here. Okay, bring it uh, sir, you have a song called Pussy to the left, pussy to the right. Uh, you're saying that that's not degrading? That's correct, because that song is about the times that Lonnie and I would go visit my Nona. And my Nona had a lot of cats. Yeah, you know, she had tabbies and then the, 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 that stray one and then the, 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 cat, the gray paws and uh, mittens. mittens. Yeah, she'd go crazy and take the laser. That cat was possessed, man. Up the wall. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Troll over no, so, uh, you know, everywhere you look, there was cats. Hence, pussy to the left. Pussy to the right. Yeah, it's just a song title. I see. Okay, so bust a nut on your face has no meaning. <laughs> well, of course it has meaning. That song is about the time Lonnie and I were going to have a party. So I put a bowl of walnuts out for guests. But I forgot to get a nutcracker. Yeah, and I was hungry, so I started smashing them open on my head, you know? I was freaking hungry. Oh, <laughs> Four days. She got some like soft uh, cashews. Uh, <laughs> Sunflower donuts. <laughs> Sunflower. Any Gentlemen. Like, but the ones not, that has a shell. Gentlemen. So uh, we wrote the song, Busting Nut on Your Face. <laughs> We're gonna rock all night. I'm so excited. There's a party at my place and you're invited. You're really craving that salty taste. So let's get busy. Busting Bust Nut on Your Face. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, well, it would just seem, sir, that every single one of your song titles has sexual connotations to them. If you look for sexual connotations, then you're gonna find sexual connotations. You know what, Deborah? I... I'm okay. I just find it really sad that we live in a world where we love to prejudge things. Yeah, just leave us alone so we can create our lives apart. <laughs> okay, but you've got to understand that uh, people are going to be upset when you have a song titled, I Need a Hand Job. <laughs> I was looking for work in construction. <laughs> okay, what about compiling your back door? That's when I got work in construction. <laughs> Blow my wood. That's because I play a mean oboe. Yeah, that's for our uh, upcoming jazz side project. I'm totally going to judge that one. Oh, you know they are. Yeah, you have too much scat. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time, but if you listen to the Lord of Heavy Metal, Mr. Vinnie Venom, sexuality in music lyrics is something that the listener perceives and not necessarily what the artist intended. Which leaves us with the question, just what is turning our young girls into such shameless whores? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for having us, Deborah. Nice tits. <laughs>